Regarding the sizing of the Superfeet product, the first thing I check is the overall length. We certainly don't want the toes to come past the end of the super feet before it's trimmed. That will let us know that the product's too short and we need to go up to the next size. We always want some foam at the end of the toe. In some cases you won't need to trim it, however in other cases you will need to trim it to fit the shoe. The second sizing point I look at is the rear foot, the heel area, the heel cup on the super feet product. It's important that the heel of the foot fits into the super feet heel cup. We want the heel in it, not on top of the heel cup. If the heel of the foot is too wide, it will crush the foam on the top edges and on both the inside and outside edge of the heel cup. The third point that I want to look at is the arch area. The consumer thinks that the product needs to fill their arch. That's not true. It's okay to have a space in the arch where the foot is actually not even contacting the super feet. On the bottom, just make sure that the cap doesn't extend past the ball of the foot or under the ball of the foot. We want the plastic cap to be just behind the ball of the foot. If the cap extends past the ball of the foot, the customer may feel the plastic under their foot. So just make sure that the cap is behind the ball of the foot. It will allow the foot and shoe to flex more appropriately.